President Obama named Julia Pearson, a veteran Secret Service agent, as the agency's first female director Tuesday. She's Julia Pearson, the first woman to hold the job. Pearson has been with the agency for 30 years. She recently served as its chief of staff. The Secret Service is responsible for protecting the president. President Barack Obama will appoint Orlando native and University of Central Florida graduate Julia Pearson as the first female director of the Secret Service. She served three years as a police officer here in Orlando, Florida. A writer for USA Today points out Pearson's appointment is on the heels of a less than perfect year for the Secret Service, suggesting a possible cultural shift within the agency. Pearson's appointment comes nearly a year after the agency was rocked by a prostitution scandal. Several agents who traveled to Cartagena, Colombia to do advance work for Obama's visit last April brought prostitutes back to their hotel rooms. Her historic appointment sparked a lot of excitement, which was the assumed cause of a major oops from the Washington Post, who broke the story Tuesday, saying she had been appointed director of the CIA by mistake. Secret Service Director Mark Sullivan announced his retirement last month after a nearly three-decade career, including seven years as head of the agency. In a statement about her appointment, he said, I have known and worked with Julie for close to 30 years. She was an excellent assistant director and chief of staff, demonstrating sound judgment, leadership, character, and commitment to our country, the men and women of the U.S. Secret Service, and those we serve and protect. This is a historic and exciting time for the Secret Service, and I know Julie will do an outstanding job. The director of the Secret Service does not require Senate confirmation. She previously served as the service's chief of staff. For Newsy, I'm Candace Aviles.